hey, this is Raul, please act right. And here's another girl who has no idea what she's talking about. Check her out. We not bringing nothing to relationships for centuries, decades. We've seen our grandmothers, our mothers, our great aunts give everything and get nothing. So for the first time in history, we're saying no. You don't get a free incubator. You don't get a free maid. You don't get a free chef. We're saying no and y'all losing y'all fucking mind. To all the millennials out there, let me explain to you how the family dynamic worked back in the day. We're talking about the family structure that happened in just about every race since the beginning of time. Back in the day, a man would meet a woman he was interested in. He would ask her out on a date, and if she said yes, they would spend time getting to know each other. If they were a match, they would get married. The family dynamic was automatic back then. The man would go to work, and the wife would stay at home. The man would pay the bills, and the wife would cook, clean, and take care of the children once they had a family. This was not considered slavery to a woman. It was simply called being a wife and a mother, also known as a homemaker. No matter whether it was a white family, a black family, an Asian family, or a Hispanic family, this was the family dynamic in every race. The woman was not cooking and cleaning as a slave to her husband. The husband went to work and made the money and paid the bills because it was his job. The wife stayed at home, cooked, cleaned, and took care of the household because it was her job, not slavery. This was also the dynamic you saw with Indians. The male Indian would go out and hunt for food. The woman Indians stayed at home. They would teach their sons, when they were old enough, the same thing. The girl Indians stayed at home with the other women. The men would protect the village from any intruders and would die to protect the women and the children if he had to. The women would take care of the families and plant gardens to have fresh fruits and vegetables for everyone to eat on a daily basis. They did not consider it slavery. This is how the woman cared for her family and it was considered normal. Now there were two times that I know of in history where black women were used to cook and clean as slaves in the past. One was when Africans, black people, were actually enslaved, as you've seen portrayed in movies like Django. The second was when slavery ended and certain black men would treat women as slaves for cooking and cleaning in their households, which you may have seen portrayed in the movie The Color Purple, where Mr. treated Seely like a slave. However, those days ended in the 1940s. And in the 1940s up until the 1970s, when you saw black women working in Caucasian people's houses, cooking and cleaning, they were getting paid to do it. Black women back then applied for those jobs that were available because that's pretty much all they knew how to do back then, which was shown in the 1970s movie, Claudine. It wasn't slavery. They were being paid, which means it was a job. From the 1970s to the 1990s, that's when things started to change. Less black women were getting married, and that's a whole nother video. But more black women started to work. As this came about, the family dynamic changed more to single parent homes. When I grew up in the 70s, if there were 10 houses on one block, eight of those houses had two parents in them. Nowadays, if there are 10 houses on a block, six or seven of them are single parent households. These kids nowadays are trying to speak on a topic that they have no idea about. And you just heard her in this video. Most of them don't have a clue of what it's like to wake up and dad is already going to work. We didn't see our fathers until they came home from work. We're not bringing nothing to relationships. For centuries, decades, we've seen our grandmothers, our mothers, our great aunts give everything and get nothing. For centuries, decades, mothers, grandmothers, aunts, and great aunts didn't pay bills. The fathers, grandfathers, and uncles did. Clearly, this young lady did not have a conversation with her father, grandfathers, or uncles about what they did all day when they left the house and didn't come back until late that evening. Her whole insight is from inside the house where the women worked. She didn't see what the men did. So for the first time in history, we're saying no. You don't get a free incubator. You don't get a free maid. You don't get a free chef. We're saying no and y'all losing y'all fucking mind. No, we're not losing our mind because you don't want to do it. We think there's something mentally wrong with a woman who says she's not doing anything but expects the man to pay all the bills. Let's get real. 
I guarantee if you ask her what a man is supposed to do in a marriage, she's going to say he's supposed to pay all the bills. And clearly, women who think like you are insane. If a man has to work, pay bills, and cook and clean when he gets home, he doesn't need a woman. And the mere fact that you made this video lets us men who are willing to pay bills know that there's something wrong with you. But when your car breaks down, or you have an electrical problem, or a plumbing backs up, keep that same attitude and pay a man to fix it. Women back then weren't making money like these women are making now. The majority of women who are making good money now wouldn't be making that kind of money if it weren't for the internet. If there was no internet, the majority of these high earning women would have to go out and get a regular job like most women. This youngster is talking like men never did anything. The men back in the day, like my father, got up at 3.30 in the morning and left by 4.15 a.m. to go to work every day, Monday through Friday and didn't return home until about 5.30 in the evening. Then on the weekends, to help ends meet, he worked on people's cars and their houses to make sure we had a roof over our head, clothes on our back, and food on the table. And when I was old enough, I was right there with him, learning that same side hustle. Men like our fathers, grandfathers, and uncles worked in factories, barely making enough money to make ends meet. These guys had to work 12 hours a day when they could get it, asking no, begging for overtime so he could get the bills paid and keep the lights on. For centuries, decades, we've seen our grandmothers, our mothers, our great aunts give everything and get nothing. This young girl is talking about decades and centuries ago, but she's just barely two decades old, which means she doesn't even remember the first decade of her life. She has no clue about what working uncles, fathers, and grandfathers did for their family. Some of these men worked out in fields in the hot sun. Some of these men had jobs where they had to dig holes when machinery wasn't available. Some of these men worked in steel mills where it was 120 degrees all day. And when his job was done, he had to come home and cut the grass, rake the leaves, clean out the gutters, shovel the snow, fix the cars, fix the electrical problems, fix the plumbing, cut down trees in the backyard, trim the bushes, and so forth. What she's reporting on is only what she saw at home. She only saw what women were doing. And these women were not cooking, cleaning, and having babies for free. The working men of the past took care of his entire family. And women of the past cooked, cleaned, and took care of the household and the kids because that was the family dynamic back then. And seriously, I don't feel sorry for young girls who think like this. I feel sorry for the young guys out there who come from the old school family dynamic, who's willing to work and pay bills because he's not going to have much to choose from. They want a man to pay bills, but they're not willing to do what they're supposed to do in return. These young girls nowadays are so lost, it's not even funny. So to all the girls out there who have cameras, learn your history before you make videos like this. Hey, somebody had to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right? Cooking and cleaning is not slavery. My name is Raul. See you in another video. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.